So I showed up to Athens and just picked a random hostel to stay in, which landed me in Exarchia. At first glance it was dark, mildly sketchy, but it reminded me so much of Beirut that it quickly felt homey to me, but with electricity. One sight here that is beautiful is the hike up to Lysabetus Hill, the highest viewpoint in Athens, created while Athena was building the Acropolis. She accidentally dropped a mountain on her way there. You know, happens. This accident created a great place for a sunset picnic with some wine. Next, I ventured closer to the main tourist area. This is Psiri and Monastaraki. You'll find shops and souvenirs everywhere here. Prices increase compared to Exarchia and other places, but it's still fairly cheap. There's many beautiful restaurants perked on hilltops and in small, charming alleyways. Here you're about a 15 minute walk to all the main sites. I recommend start with the Acropolis Museum, as it'll show you what the Pantheon used to look like and some of its history. Then get a guided tour through the Agora. This is like the main area where most of the ancient Greeks used to hang out, go to the gym, talk about politics, buy stuff, but for the elite class. I just imagine myself walking around where the great philosophers Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates spent much of their time, where they pondered the nature of man, of existence. Speaking of the goat of all humans, go one evening to Fellow People Hill and check out the prison of Socrates. Therefore, judges, be cheerful about death. Know this to be true. Nothing evil can happen to a good person either in life or after death. Such people are not neglected by the gods. My own approaching end did not happen by chance. I see clearly that to die and be released is better for me. For that reason, I am not angry with those who accused or condemned me. They have done me no harm, though neither group intended to do me any good. For this, I may gently blame them. Now that you know a little bit of history and backstory, you end your trip with a sacred walk up to the Pantheon, the temple dedicated to Athena. Here's my hostel in Psyri, it was very nice and a great hostel. Ran anywhere from 25 to 35 a night, but I'm here in October during off season, so keep that in mind. The kitchen is very nice, Wi-Fi is great, rooftop might be the best view in Athens, and it's very low key. Once you get bored of Athens, you have to go to an island nearby. You can fly, but you miss out on a cheaper, more superior experience, which is a ferry boat ride. I decided to go to Naxos for $50. I explored the main town in about an hour. Go see the Temple of Demeter and go see Mount Zeus. That area and those villages are incredible. Food here was just incredible. So good, affordable, cheap. It's Mediterranean, very similar to Lebanese food. They have the grape leaves, the hummus, the kebabs, and a lot of the same beans. I'm not gonna recommend places because they change, but I'll tell you about the main dishes I saw everywhere. Souvlaki is uh, grilled skewers of meat, chicken, pork, um, some kebabs, and they serve it with pita bread. It's like $2 a skewer, and I ate this pretty much every day. That, or a gyro which is the big thing of uh, chicken or pork that they slice up, french fries and tzatziki and some pita, and that is also like three, four dollars, incredible. Moussaka is a baked potato casserole dish with eggplant and minced beef. It's very homey and delicious. 
The Greek salad, salad with a brick of feta on top, really good. Uh, dalmas, rolled grape leaves with rice and meat. Gelato, ice cream, had this every night. You have to try pomegranate and cashew together, life changing. They have some unique coffees here. I'm gonna make a frappe for you. The frappe is the classic Greek coffee that everyone in Greece is starting from frappe. The nice woods, a little bit of sugar. We're adding about two fingers of water. Mm -hmm. We're going on top. We're making a good, nice foam. So this is the classic frappe. Do you usually put milk or no? Uh, normally they do, sometimes not. And here we have the classic proper. My favorite thing about Greece and living up is the weather. The weather, weather is freaking amazing all the time. It's always fun. I'm making the classic breakfast first. This one with two ice cubes. First of all, slowly we're making it. Spread this first that everyone in Greece loves. <laughs> I'm Thanasis and I'm from Athens. This area here, it's considered the most touristic area, let's say, where you'll find the Parthenon and the Acropolis. There's many sites to visit. This area, Plaka, is really, really nice. And my personal favorite, Exarchia. It's full of nice bars, restaurants, cafes, uh, which are quite authentic because they're not, it's not a purely touristic area. If you're into clubbing, you can visit Gazi. These are the, the, the main areas. And of course, Syntagma, this area here, which is uh, quite popular too. I mean, uh, yes, Irene Square has some nice restaurants and bars. An area which has become very popular the last years, Kukaki. Avoid the area of uh, Omonia, especially after dark. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, a little bit dodgy. Go around the city, use your feet. Athens is small, walk everywhere and feel the city. If they like hostels, of course they should visit when in Athens hostel, which is in Exarchia. Definitely. Overall, Greece was just incredible for me. Affordable, fun, cultural, and Greece is huge. There's over 300 islands or something like that, so there's so many and all the cultures are different in each area, so I really only touched upon one little city and one small area in that city, so this doesn't go for an entire country. So yes, go to Athens. The hour of departure has arrived, and we go our different ways. I to die, and you to live. Which is better, only the God knows.